Fashion is about dressing according to what's trending, but style is about being yourself. Hi there, I am Juhi Anwar and welcome to the biggest fashion event of the city, Style Icon of the Year 2022. We are here at Nexus Mall Core Mangla for the mega auditions. It is an open audition and we have participants coming from across Karnataka. The participants who are selected today will compete against the participants who were selected from the top colleges. The top 30 finalists will be groomed by the industry's top-notch professionals for a period of three weeks. And the best will be the style icon of the year, male and female. Hi, may I know your name? My name is Hamid, Hamid Rahman Vakar. Tell us something about yourself. Why do you want to be a style icon? And why are you interested in this field? I think I've always wanted to express myself and I believe that being the style icon would give me the stage. I would need to express my individuality and the stage for everyone to see. Like, good example would be my hair. I like to experiment, I like to play with makeup, my clothes. So I think, yeah, that would be it. Um, my personal style, I would say, is edgy and gothic at the same time. Some days I just dress up as whatever I feel like. Some days I dress up like a fairy or sometimes I'm just like plain goth. So it just depends on my mood. According to me, there's no one I personally pursue. Uh, I see everyone, a part of them is a style. So I visualize Gigi Hades, Bella, uh, Kendall Jenner, etc. So many people who are, uh, you know, creating uh, sense in fashion field. so much for being a part of this event today and uh, what potential did you see in the participants today? Yeah, I'm always looking for some creative element uh, when I come to uh, uh, Zulfi's style icon events or when I when I go and judge Miss India or whatever I always look for someone who has confidence apart from how they look which is the basics anyway it's how they ca carry themselves and how confident they are and that epitomizes their style and I'm always looking for, for young talent who can, who can come out and be my models and we can include them in my work and you know move on from there. So it's, it's wonderful to be at uh, something like this. I'm, I'm really happy to uh, uh, support Zulfi always because he always ends up finding uh, new, poten new potential for me to, to be able to work with. Thank you so much ma'am for gracing us with your presence today. Absolutely, it was my honor to be here and I had such a great time judging uh, you know these potential candidates I see a lot of potential in them in future uh, and I cannot wait for the final audition and I cannot wait to groom them even more you are a doctor and yeah. you understand how important conscious eating is how important physical uh, well-being is yeah. so what is that one fitness advice that you would like to give to people for me I have always maintained a good balance between work and uh, you know diet and exercise so i think that's one thing that people need to navigate through uh, and once you've done that i think you will kind of flourish in every aspect of your life could be your you know relationships could be your work life could be just any aspect of your life so you've been an integral part of style icon of the year team you were a part of the previous season what are your hopes for this season you saw the participants today what potential did you see in them I think style icon, first of all, what, what Zulfi has created, I think it's one of the more serious platforms which uh, find genuinely talented people like uh, 
Rakshika Mandana is one example. I don't know if too many people know. She was found here at Style Icon. I'm always, uh, it's a pleasure for me to be part of Style Icon, to be part of anything which is fresh and, and new and to, to find new budding talent. As usual, I mean, we are a country of 1.2 billion people. There is no dearth of talent here. There's no dearth of brain. There's no dearth of brawn. There's no dearth of talent. So how each individual comes forward, how perceives life to be, all starry-eyed, different versions of dreams in their eyes, in their minds. It's 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 always very energizing for people like me who, you know, we are, we are getting older. So we draw that energy from these youngsters and as usual, a bunch of promising people. That is amazing, sir. Thank you so much. What an amazing event. Just when you think it can't get any better, you're surprised. The fight to be the style icon of the year is going to be a tough one. Stay tuned for the mega auditions where we bring to you our top 30 finalists from across Karnataka. I'm your host for the day, Juhi, and we're signing off. Till then, remember, people will stare, make it worth their while. Fashion you can buy, but style you possess. It's about self-expression and above all, attitude. Hi there, I'm Juhi Anwar and welcome to the biggest fashion event of the city, Style Icon of the Year 2022. We are here at the final mega audition happening at Nexus Mall Kormangla. We handpicked some great talents at the open audition yesterday and now we await a battle amongst the most stylish participants across Karnataka. Today is going to be the game changer as only the top 30 make it to the finale. We hope to see the participants flaunting their best outfits today and their persona. Let's wait and watch how they slay. Congratulations, guys! Wow! How are you going to prepare yourself for the finale? So, I'm going to talk to the judges and then see what I'm lacking in and then I'm just going to work on it. Honestly, just learn to like speak more confidently and walk better. My style I can right now would have to be me. This, right at this moment, I think I can speak for everyone here. This has been an absolutely euphoric experience. And before the adrenaline runs down, I'm going to think about my fantasies and everything I see in front of me. Hi sir, thank you so much for being here with us today. My pleasure, my pleasure. Today it felt like my exam, tha, you know. It's a responsibility to choose 16 girls and 16 boys out of one plethora of about 
how many do we go through? 150 over two days, I think. So it's a responsibility because everybody comes here dreamy eyed with hope, with aspirations. So what we do as judges, in a way, defines their short term lives. So that's a huge responsibility. So, uh, yeah. I think I passed my exam with flying colors. <laughs> and so which celebrity do you think is the most stylish and why? I feel like being biased towards those who've worn House of Three. But I would try and be neutral and say Deepika Padukone. Uh, she represents India in a multiple plethora of international events. Although I really feel, I hope you're listening Deepika, that you wear more Indian designers and represent them abroad. Other than Sapusachi, there are hundreds of wonderfully talented people. Yeah. So please wear them, celebrate India. And in, among the men, I would hats, hats, hands down give it off to Ranveer. I love his energy. Ma'am, which is that one outfit that you think is the stare of the season? I actually uh, don't really believe in trends and uh, particular outfit as such. But I think like style goes a long, long, long way. And I'd really like, would actually be very happy to see young designers being able to bring forth something new, you know, what we've never seen. Because there are so many people who say that we just, uh, like people just keep on doing whatever is already invented and you're just reinventing things. But I believe if you have an eye and if you're, if you're aware, there is a new sense of perspective in every single thing. Be it a mic, be it you, be the necklace you're wearing. I think everything has a very different perspective if you're aware to see that nuance to things. And I think that would actually be I think, icing on the cake when you actually be able to take those nuances and uh, build it. Yeah, that's that is what I think like the outfit of the day would be, like something which is unique. Yeah. There are some who are really special now who I can work with, but there are also some others who are perhaps, maybe I may not be able to work with them and I'm not so passionate about, who Shaunath may find wonderful and fabulous. And maybe Pella can use them for, for her fashion work that she does, uh, because she also needs models all the time. So I think eventually it's it's all about uh, how uh, how well you can come and showcase your talents to us, and you did. And there are some really lovely people, and I'm really excited to be working with them in the future. Thank you so much, sir. What an incredible event and what an incredible journey. Two months of auditions and we finally have with us our top 30 finalists. From here on begins a training process where two of these finalists get to win our Style Icon of the Year title. On that note, I'm your host for the day, Juhi, and we're signing off. Till then, remember, wherever you go, whatever you do, make sure you do it with a lot of style.